What are some of the things that you find uh, that are really destroying people's teeth? Yeah, you know, golly, I, I was thinking about this recently. I mean, when you look at for a lot of children, um, the nature of the crappy nutrition that they've been exposed to in their first 10 to 12 years of life frequently will lead to like, you know, a lot of kids, by the time they get their second molars, they've already had a number of fillings. Some kids, even before they start getting their permanent teeth and like age five or six, they've already been under sedation. You know, I mean, the quality of nutrition is significantly lacking. Um, I mean, there are so many factors we consider we could consider that lead to you know whether it be a heightened state of sympathetic overdrive even for children you know constantly on 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 screen time you know and then not having gosh i mean not having fresh air not having sunlight not having optimal nutrition it's like all these things lead into disease expression and the mouth is one of the first places we start seeing that expression and just if we think about overall toxic risk or oxidative stress risk. If kids are getting fillings and or maybe even, God forbid, root canals in their teen years, by the time they're 40, you know, they've had sometimes 30 years of exposure to the microbial garbage that's getting into their jaw bones. Um, it, it's just such a picture of risk, yet we still to this day, most dentists are trained I mean, heck, we're all trained to think as though the teeth don't connect to the body in any significant way. When we see obvious areas of pathology, you know, whether it be like a, an abscess or something around the tip of a root, like, yeah, we just think it's a, you know, something localized to that tooth, you'll be fine. Yet it's circulating throughout the whole body. We understand that, you know, it, it's this weird disconnect. And, and unfortunately, dentistry is kind of the, outlier in healthcare that isn't considered when people are dealing with cancer, um, thyroid dysfunction, diabetes, heart disease, all these significant health issues, yet rarely are the dentists ever being called to weigh in on how's the health of the mouth? It's just not even part of the picture. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, especially this approach that is a holistic approach, looking at the whole body and realizing that, look, all, your body, every part of your body is connected to the other parts, right? You have all these <laughs> yeah. interconnected systems that work together. And if one system is uh, not functioning optimally, if one system is disabled or distressed, diseased, yeah. yeah, it's not in a vacuum, right? It's going to affect the other systems in some way. And so... I know there have been, there's been, uh, you know, hypothesis about, uh, you know, dental health and, and uh, gum disease and whatever, mouth problems, we'll just call it that, and, yep. and cancers and specific types of cancer and things like that. And I know there's a lot more research to be done there. And, and at this point, I think a lot of it is just hypothetical, but um, I don't think it should be ignored. Thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, why not subscribe? Here's a link to do that. And if you'd like to watch the full interview, you can find it at chrisbeatcancer.com. There's a link to it in the description right below this video.